News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. We're in the midst of a heat wave across the Susquehanna Valley. Temperatures across much, if not all, of the area climbed into the lower 90s. Gettysburg, you're at 91 right now. Dew points are holding in the lower 60s. So the breeze is making it feel a little less oppressive, more on the muggy to sticky side. That heat and humidity is going to be sticking around as we head through tonight and tomorrow. There were a few isolated showers that did pop up uh, near Long Level in York County right now. Just a dying shower to the north of Hummelstown in Dauphin County. So an isolated shower is not out of the question as we head through the evening hours. I expect those to dissipate after dark. But look at all the action right now over the Tennessee River Valley, the Deep South. That is an upper level disturbance that's going to move into the warm, humid air that's over the Susquehanna Valley and help trigger a few more showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. And then by the time we head into Thursday, this cold front starts to move in, and that will be the best chance for rain this week. So, partly sunny skies for our forecast for this evening. Just not really out an isolated shower. Temperatures will be dropping down into the lower 80s as we approach sunset. Overnight tonight, partly cloudy, warm and muggy. Also some fog. Temperatures will be in the lower 70s. And then we're right back up to near 90 degrees. Could make it day number four in a row. But we'll also have an increasing chance of some hit and miss showers and thunderstorms, especially in the late afternoon and during the evening hours. South Mountain Fair also starts tomorrow in Artsville in Adams County. Could see a few isolated showers and thunderstorms. Good news is the fair continues to run all the way through Saturday. So rain rains out there tomorrow, and you got a couple of days to go out there. But certainly, chances for rain are still low for tomorrow. Pollen count is low for tomorrow. Also, mold the air quality levels back up to a moderate level, and the UV index at a seven could burn in about 30 minutes. It's currently 93 in Harrisburg, and I just checked. High today in Harrisburg was 94. That makes it the warmest day so far in 2015. It's currently 91 in Lancaster, 90 in Lebanon at this hour. Temperatures still warm to our north. Currently 89 in Williamsport and 93 in the nation's capital. Dew points have been holding steady through the day today, primarily in the mid 60s. It's been fairly quiet on Super Doppler live radar, but as we pan out, what's been keeping things dry and hot is that large ridge of high pressure that's now out in the open waters of the Atlantic. But this weak disturbance and this incoming cold front and all that warm, humid air is going to be allowing uh, for some scattered showers to return as we head through the next couple of days. So watch what happens here in the predictor. We stay quiet through the overnight hours. Around 6 o'clock, we start to see some clouds bubble up. And then as we heat up to near 90 degrees tomorrow afternoon, some hit and miss showers and thunderstorms will be starting to pop up across the Susquehanna Valley. We'll lose the rain chances late on Tuesday night, and then we'll do the same thing on Wednesday. But I do expect the number of showers and thunderstorms to be a little bit higher than tomorrow as we head into Wednesday. Heading to the beach, weather looks great. Temperatures right around uh, the mid-80s. Could see some isolated showers and thunderstorms Wednesday into Thursday. Our best chance for rain comes on Thursday across the Susquehanna Valley, and it does look like tomorrow will be the last of the heat wave with highs in the 90s, but we'll only cool off just a touch back down into the mid 80s as we head into midweek. More seasonable weather is expected on into the weekend. Got some kids art to show you. Thank you very much, Katrina from Hanover, for sending us this beautiful picture. Love the flowers there on the ground. I know it has been busy out there on the roads.